Hi friends, today we are going to be doing Unit 2, Lesson 1. We will be reading out of Rat and Burrow's Guide to Animals. This is in your small reader and this is the beginning of your new unit. This here is a picture of our friend Rat and Burrow. Chapter 1, Introduction, Meet Rat and Burrow. Greetings! Rattenborough, the famous explorer and animal expert here. Remember me? I taught you all about animals and habitats when you were just little kids in first grade. But I've been busy since then traveling around the world. But I'm back now to teach you everything I've learned about animals during my travels. First, let's take a quick look at what you learned in first grade. Do you remember what a habitat is? A habitat is the place where animals and plants live. We learned that there are different habitats all over the world with different kinds of animals and plants living there. We visited a desert habitat where it was very hot and dry. It hardly ever rains in a desert, so the plants and animals that live there have to be able to get by with very little water. I bet you remember that cactus plants live in the desert along with snakes and lizards. The caption of this image says, Rat and burrow in one habitat. What habitat does it look like he's in? We also visited an African savanna. A savanna is also called a grassland. There were lots of interesting animals living there, zebras, elephants, and even lions. To be perfectly honest, I was always a little nervous while we were in the savanna. Next, we checked out some different kinds of forests. We went to a hardwood forest full of trees with leaves that change color and drop off in the fall. We saw squirrels, deer, and even bears. We saw lots of different kinds of birds in all those trees. Then we visited a tropical rainforest that was very hot, humid, and wet. There were lots of birds in this forest too. These birds were colorful, tropical birds like toucans and parrots. The image here has Rattenboro in three different habitats. Last but not least, we visited freshwater and saltwater habitats. In the freshwater habitat, we saw fish, turtles, ducks, and beavers. In the saltwater habitat of the sea, we saw starfish, crabs, lobsters, and sharks. This is Rattenboro and some water habitats. Besides learning about habitats in first grade, we also studied the different kinds of things that animals eat. Do you remember talking about herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores? We learned that you can sort animals by what they eat. So get ready, because we are going to learn a lot more about how to sort animals. Rattenboro, your personal animal expert at your service. See you next time! We are now going to review a few of the things and images that go along with this chapter. We have a picture here of herbivores that eat only plants. You can see that we have a panda, an elephant, a butterfly, and a deer. We also have a picture of omnivores that eat plants and meat. We have a bear, we have a chicken, and we have a monkey. And lastly, we have carnivores that eat mainly meat. We have an eagle, we have a tiger, we have an alligator, and we have a shark. You may now move on to Unit 2, Lesson 1, Google Form.